important result of that shot. But here comes Evan Lee now. Keegan on the turn. Keegan scores! That's a rocket from Jay Keegan! Come back into a marking back spot. So it easily, there's the three, there's the five, there's four. A lot of different looks defensively. Lifted ball through. Keegan! Ooh. He's tipped Bailey! All by himself. Chips it to the left-hand side. It bar into the middle. Oh, it's beautiful! It's artful! And it's Jay Keegan making it three for the triumph. Paul finally back in play. Greenville looking to put together their first attack of the second half. And it's Coutinho looking to scoop it over the top. Great ball. And it's in the back of the net, and it's 2-0. Caused a ton of trouble, and as I say that, Greenville building. Greenville dangerous here. Cuts it back in and in. For this Greenville side, as Labovitz will throw this all the way into the middle. Bounces once, still in there. St. Dejas, but it's bundled over the line. Oh, here's Ibarra. Ibarra into the middle. Oh, That's a fantastic. Chattanooga. Some key injuries in certain key positions. Labovitz going forward. Labovitz. Oh. Here's Keegan. Keegan dashing forward. Keegan, it's a. Patino looks to connect with Keegan. Much to get past Paul Christensen. Here's a chance for Greenville, though. Keegan squares it across. Look at that find. Ibarra stuttering, shooting, it suffered. They don't have that, and I want to take two more goals in order to really stretch out Greenville because you got to have a two goal advantage to really put a team into aggressive mode. And here's Labovitz again. Jacob Labovitz catches the keeper. On where it lands. Keegan, though, jostles for it. Can he keep it in play? He can. And now Smart. Program. Get people spending a couple of years in it. As this ball squared inside towards goal. The volleyed shot from Jake Keegan. Well, ricocheting around. They play it to the outside. Long ball where they switch down by Oleg Sanderson. Now Keegan again. Keegan with the cross. The header is off target. The top spot has just been a waiting game for both sides. Here's a long ball forward for Labovitz. Is he on? Feilerman gets this across. Keegan says these MLS sides, especially on the road, they're feeling it a whole lot more, I think, than these home sides. Where in favor of Greenville is the questionable part now. As this one's laid off for Smart. Keegan came from behind, referee pointed to the ball. Labovitz, Keegan making the run. Talking about player signings, Tormenta, what a change from last year. Only six players back from last year's squad. As he goes, and nobody else really jumps out. To see. Actually, low swinging ball, looked to get had to go on target. Back down on the ground, cleared up. So good discipline-wise, John Parks mentioned that this week. Tactical discipline was so good. Go! The win over the weekend. Immediately. So, formations, pressing patterns. Bailey watches as Keegan and I by a point on the bye obviously had to play in that quarterfinal as well when they beat North Texas what a game that was is it that back those four back spots especially at the center backs positions this is going to be careful here Keegan laying it off the right hand side good positioning by Lou Young but one back by Greenville Filerman into the game now for John Harks and Greenville Triumph they put passes together Filerman Neat little touch. The sub in the rain and wind at forward Madison last weekend. Some defending for them to do here. Well in contention by the end of the year. First half on Wednesday. Louis Perez on the ball now. Trying to get past Jake Keegan. But Keegan privy to the move being made. Keep the audio playing as 
The Jacks have a chance here. McNeil can't quite bring that one in. Keegan doing the defending. And they're also out. 